Howdy, howdy, guys. This is Echo65. Hello, and today I'm bringing you a little Moab action on Liberation. One of the first two maps in the uh, content season of Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty Elite Premium. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys saw the uh, trailer. I'm guessing most of you probably have if you guys are, you know, YouTube watchers, watchers of the YouTube of the videos. Um, a little content season DLC whatever trailer that Infinity War put out a little, a little weak, a little annoying. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know how many times they said like content season in the video is a little annoying. And <laughs> good old striker. <laughs> Last time I died in quite a while. And look at this broken spawns right here. Like um, I guess I'll talk about it real quick. Yeah, spawns are a little broke on Liberation. Uh, pretty much if you focus your sights on this little tunnel exit and the bridge I was just shooting at, uh, you'll be pretty good to go on liberation. Like, you'll, you'll rack up the kills if you just focus on those two areas. Maybe the rocks and the little building, I don't know if it's a bathroom, whatever that building is, on the other side of the valley. Focus on those two, those three things, you will do well on this map. Uh, pretty simple. It's a very, very large map. Like, uh, one of the more, uh, larger, largest map of the game. Uh, now and yeah, pretty much it just boils down to this valley in the middle here. If you keep your sights there, you will do well, or you'll die. Depends on your skill level or how lame the enemy team is going to be. Uh, I've had a few assassin types that sit there prone underneath the bridge I'm looking at right now, and they do fairly well for themselves. You know, you um, get like an assassin with a silent arsass, and he's going to do work there. You know, just switch it up a little bit, move spots, you'll do well there. It's not a strategy that I would use, but, uh, yeah, that guy, the shotgun there, man, I, like, I was, like, uh, noting, like, tell my friend there, like, I was surprised, like, that guy ran all the way across the map from one flag over to the other, like, that guy is committed, like, he wants those flags, like, he doesn't care about defending the flags, he's gonna go cap every flag he can, apparently, run around the edge of the map, and, you know, that, that can work if you're that type of player, um, uh, it kind of works, because right now, obviously, I'm playing a 6v6 game, so you can kind of get away with that a little bit more. But uh, in a ground war, I don't see that passing at all. Uh, speaking of ground war, I like playing this map. I like I don't really like 6v6 at all. Pretty much, it's really boring, especially in domination. It can be you get a lot of people that you know they don't defend, but they camp. There's a big difference between the two. Uh, yeah, a lot of campers on 6v6 dom. But yeah, I'm forced to play it because that's all you get on the. Uh, DLC list. It would have been nice if they put a, uh, or the Elite playlist. It would have been nice if there was an Elite Ground War. I'd be on that. It would be fun just to see how it shakes out with nine players on this map and on Piazza. But unfortunately, no. 6v6. So yeah. Um, Liberation. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what to say about it. It's, it's very frustrating and annoying. Like much of Modern Warfare 3 is very frustrating and annoying. Uh, yet I still pop it in the Xbox, like, all the time. Torture myself a little bit. But yeah, um, you know, game modes for this, for this map, definitely, like, Search and Domination be the top two. I played a couple Kill Confirms and a couple of Team Deathmatches on this map, and it's very pointless and very boring. It is beyond bad. Like, just the spots around the edges of the map that... They're like really, really, I don't want to say powerful. They're very powerful spots, but they're very annoying and very, yeah, head glitchy. Like, uh, you jump on top of those barrels there, you can head glitch the box for days and cover the valley and the other on the, the side of my right all day long. Um, you have the castle, which, you know, you have big old giant wall to head glitch behind, and that was most of my experience on TDM, was people will you know, spawn at the castle and stay there for a solid five minutes. It's not a very fun map on TDM or a non-objective uh, non based game, but what can you do? Uh, speaking of the content season trailer, you know, I talked about earlier, you know, they come out with that and it's like, oh yeah, get excited, guys, and, you know, DLC's finally here for Modern Warfare 3. Not so boring anymore, you got new stuff. And, uh, oh look, Moab, and like clockwork, as soon as I get to Moab, I go down. It's really awesome, isn't it? Like, I, I don't know, I was pretty like, ecstatic. I was kind of happy for that guy to kill me at that point because I was like, you know what? Like, if you're going to shoot me, I'm really glad you shot me after the Moab. 
like a split second later, you get me. And, you know, I knew there was a guy on B here, but uh, I figured I'd just call the Moab in and cap it afterward. And look at that, offensive bonus, offensive bonus, offensive bonus, offensive bonus. If I wasn't uh, 10 prestige at this point and uh, was still caring about e or XP, I'd be pretty excited about getting all that bonus XP, but uh, it doesn't really do much for me. Uh, they don't even track it in the stats, you know. And it should, you know. Um, was it, you know, it tracks like on the leaderboard and on the lead, you know, it says caps and defends. I'm like, what about offense? Like, uh, a lot of people will camp, you know, near the flag or be on the flag. You know, you shoot them, it's, you know, it's a viable stat. <laughs> oh, yeah, portable radar. Uh, I probably should have mentioned that earlier. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty handy to have a portable radar covering that tunnel because, like I said, people will spawn in there all day, regardless of the, sp uh, the flag configuration. Of where your team is at, you know, unless there's a teammate in, you know, if you or a teammate is in that tunnel, uh, people will spawn there, even though, like, I, I've spawned in there next to two enemies, so I guess that's not entirely true, but yeah, people will spawn in there, uh, regardless, but yeah, uh, haven't really been posting lately, uh, as you might have noticed if you were a subscriber to this channel, um, Main reason why, like several reasons, but main reason why I kind of equate to uh, if you've ever gotten a message from somebody, um, you know, when you take a day or two and you don't respond, and then after that it just come kind of comes awkward, and then you like think to yourself like, oh, I should tell you, uh, you know, send message that person back, but I'm like, oh, now it's weird now. I have to explain myself like, oh, I didn't. You know, it's very instantaneous communications nowadays. Like, if you don't respond back like that, you know, people are like, oh, you don't like me? What's wrong? What, you got something wrong with you? You sick? Uh, so, yeah, like, after, a little, after, you know, like, a week went by and I didn't post, I'm like, oh, now it's, like, weird. And like, ugh. But, um, yeah, I have a lot, like, I still record, like, everything I do on the game. You know, I have, like, a lot of, uh, gameplays and a lot of, a lot of, like, clips for montages, but, uh, yeah, just bringing myself to get on the computer and edit, and it's a little, little awkward, a little weird. But here I am. Uh, I do have like a lot of ideas, and like coming near future, I have the day off in a couple of days, and I'm gonna like devote the whole day. I have like a big javelin tutorial video I want to do because I love the javelin. It's great. It's great. So yeah, expect that. Uh, and I'm, I, like I want to do a series of videos, uh, just all the random little spots I've learned for the javelin on each of the maps. Um, probably not Piazza and Liberation, but I also have a lot of Moabs and such to put up. I just got my like first uh, sniper, like MSR Moab the other day, and I was pretty ecstatic, and it was almost a double Moab. Um, but yeah, I have that and a Moab on Piazza, and I don't know if I really want to post it or not because I was very tired. I just got home from work when I got it, and so I'm not as quite happy with it because it was a little too cautious and took a while, but uh, you know, I could post that or post the uh, sniper mob I got next. Uh, if uh, you're a longtime subscriber, uh, post in the comments which one you see Piazza or the sniper mob is on Fallen, a uh, map I really don't like, but I seem to get all my Moabs on Fallen. I don't understand. Um, but yeah, um, so guys, I will talk to you later. I will see you later this week with Javelin tutorial and maybe a Moab, another Moab, because this is one, and I have many, and you will see them all. Probably not, because some of them are crap. But yeah, uh, take care, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!